X-Cube 2 Video Tutorial The X-Cube 2 from Smoke is one of the most high-tech vaping devices ever made. It features 160 watts of maximum output, temperature control mode, wattage memory mode, and Bluetooth 4.0 technology. All these are designed to bring you unmatched safety, performance, and upgradeability. This video tutorial will go through some main features as well as basic operating instructions of the X-Cube 2. Okay, here we go. Firstly, let's add some e-liquid to the TFV4 tank. Don't need to screw it off. You just press the top cap and move it counterclockwise. Top refill e-liquid through the slot and pay attention not to drip it into the central airflow tube. Close the cap carefully and firmly. And then press the firing bar five times in succession to power on X-Cube 2. The display should light up and present all the important information. The X-Cube 2 also features a variety of shortcuts. Those are designed to save your time and effort. 1. Press the firing bar lightly and quickly to switch between menus. 2. Press and hold down the firing bar to access the sub-menu or exit menu. 3. Press the minus button and the plus button at the same time to turn Bluetooth on or off. 4. Press the firing bar and the minus button at the same time to switch between watt mode, temp mode, and memory mode. 5. Press the firing bar and the plus button at the same time to switch between soft, norm, and hard draw effects. In addition to these, there are other six shortcuts that can be enabled when the mode is locked. To lock the mode by pressing the firing bar five times. 1. Press the minus button and the plus button at the same time to show puff number and time. 2. Press the firing bar and the plus button at the same time to turn stealth mode on or off. 3. Press the firing bar and the minus button at the same time to turn LED light on or off. 4. Keep holding the plus button to show current date. 5. Keep holding the minus button to show current time. 6. Keep holding the firing bar and select off to turn power off. Next, we are going to talk about the temperature control function of X-Cube 2. Smoke's temperature control technology requires your coils made from Ni200 alloy because the resistance of nickel can significantly change with its temperature. And X-Cube 2 uses the resistance of the atomizer to calculate the temperature of the heating coil. If you are using temperature control mode, be careful to only attach new atomizers that have cooled to room temperature to the device. If a new atomizer is attached to the X-Cube 2 before it has cooled down, the temperature may read and protect incorrectly until the new atomizer cools. And it's important to know when using a new atomizer or reconnect your existing atomizer under temperature mode. The X-Cube 2 will prompt, is new coil, yes or no? If you have attached a new atomizer, please choose yes. If you just disconnect and reconnect your existing atomizer, Please choose no. Now let's do a tissue burn test to see how the temperature control function works. Here we have a nickel build on a TFV4 RBA and a strip of tissue. I'm going to burn the tissue at 300, 400, 500, and 600 degrees Fahrenheit respectively, and each for 10 seconds. Let's watch what will happen.
As a high-tech Bluetooth mode, the X-Cube 2 uses Bluetooth 4.0, which requires very little energy. It is applicable to Android 4.3 Plus and iOS 7.0 Plus systems, so make sure your phone operating system is updated. And extends the range. You can download our app, Smart BEC for Android, and iOS, Google Play App Store. Before connecting the app with Xcube 2, please make sure the Bluetooth of your smartphone and the mode is active. After launching the app, it should search for the Xcube 2 spontaneously. Press the icon of Xcube 2 to pair. Then it will prompt to enter a password. And our initial password is 000000. With the app, operation will be much easier and more convenient. We hope you find it helpful and also hope you enjoy using your X-Cube 2 power device and other products from Smoke.